So, the Sonic Mania opening cutscene was just revealed by the official Sonic YouTube channel. And the strange thing is, they were supposed to release this the day before the game comes out, but I guess they showed us this today because of all the leaks. In case you didn't know, a lot of people have gotten to play Sonic Mania early, and there was even somebody live streaming it, and the official Sonic YouTube channel deleted their account. Speaking of all that, the copyright doesn't belong to me. I am just a fan of Sonic, and the copyright of course goes to Sega. But yeah, because of the leaks, I'm not going to be on anything for the next five days, aside from YouTube, maybe Skype, and Discord. That's it. I'm not touching Twitter, and I'm avoiding Google+. The cutscene itself, though, I love how it's fast-paced. Like, so much happened, and it all happened so fast that when I first watched this, I was thinking, okay, I should play that again to see just what happened. I love the way it begins, where it's just Sonic and Tails, and then the elevator goes to three, and that's when we see Knuckles. I love that. That's such a good detail, where Knuckles doesn't appear until the elevator goes to three. So then it goes to Mania, and the elevator opens, and they take off. Just so good. I got the notification for this when it was uploaded one minute ago, so I had to watch in 360p. And even in 360p, it looked awesome. So, I refreshed the page later on, and I was able to watch in 1080p, and oh my god, it looked so crisp. This is probably one of, if not the best looking piece of animation I've seen this year. This part right here, SPOILER ALERT! If you don't want spoilers, please mute your device until you don't see this image anymore. But I know this is a few zones for the game. Some already confirmed, some not. I saw Green Hill Zone, Studioopolis, Mirage Saloon. This is where it gets interesting. I also saw Lava Reef, so that's going to be in the game. And also Hydro City! That's right, the leaks were true. Hydro City. Kobotomani 456 is going to lose his mind over this. And there are two other zones, but I can't really tell what they are. Then we get our first look at the hard boil heavies. And most of them are shadowed out, but they look great. And I don't know why, but the one in front reminds me of Egg Emperor in Sonic Heroes. Sonic teleports to Studioopolis, which I love how when Sonic is looking in the distance, you could actually see rings and stuff on the buildings. That is such good attention to detail. It's like, hey, this is an actual level that you will play later, and Sonic will be collecting those rings later, so you better put them there. And one of the hard-boiled heavies fire at Sonic, and... <sighs> Remember when this was a work in progress leak on Twitter? We've come a long way since then. Sonic pops out of Studioopolis, and these are probably warp rings. I forget what Sonic media those were in, probably Satayem or the comics, but yeah, he comes out of that, and enjoy this funny edit that I decided to make. Oh no! When Sonic jumps out, he's holding flickies, and then he lets go of them. Fly! Be free! I don't know why, but I thought this part was adorable. And, ooh, we have some springs here. Just bounce pad, you know? That's it for the cutscene, and this game just keeps getting better and better. I can't wait until this thing comes out, and I'll do a video about my thoughts on it. Don't worry. And Forces 2, but I figured that I'd wait until next year to do that, once all the hubbub about those games die down. 
But let me know what your thoughts are of the trailer in the comments section down below. And if you enjoyed, leave a like because that helps me out a lot. And have a good one.